and hello welcome back to another video this is part two of our ongoing series of Wednesday and in this part I keep telling you some devices and something whatever I know I share with you so yeah this video is gonna be about practices that makes you better and while I'll be talking about it I will also be creating the dress in Marvel well, let's design it. so yeah let's start with you so first thing what you're going to do is start your day with a goal spend some time thinking about your next move or your future means do you wake up you should have a clear understanding of what you're going to spend most of your time in uh, you must have something that you want to do productive. You must have some work, some personal work, some official work, whatever it may be, whatever makes your art good, improves it. Spend some time uh, setting and creating a goal for the day. It can be an ongoing project that you want to achieve till the certain level. You can do that. And yeah, think about your future. What you're gonna do in this uh, in this day? And the next thing that you wanna do is observe other artworks, look at games, learn about them, visit places like art station daily. Daily, I mean daily. Uh, you can look at other people's work. You can look at gameplays. If you don't play, if you play that's even better you will understand how the game works how the mechanics work even the game design and everything not just art because art is uh, you know it's 50 percent you must understand how art can make a game beautiful but can break it as tech cyberpunk so yeah we have to you know, keep in mind that not to only focus on art but to focus on the performance and everything so that it is compatible with the art. Yeah, so observe other people's artwork, observe whatever you think art pro in your uh, eyes, observe their artworks. Uh, by observe, I mean look at them closely. And if you think that you won't be able to create something like this, search about it, uh, research about it. You will get to know a lot of stuff, some techniques that they use to create certain things. Yeah. And it's an inspiring place to be. Visit Art Station. Another point I would like to mention, which is very important going on these days, which is AI art. Let me know what are your thoughts about AI art in comments, please. For me, I would say do not use AI art generated tools. Uh, don't be a bot. Be a person. Create your own art piece. Because it's crap and it's equally criminal in my mind. So uh, do not use uh, tools that generate AI uh, images, artwork. Stay away from them. Even if you are learning or even if you are a pro. Please stay away from them. That doesn't suit you. Yeah, yeah, I hope you are getting something. How am I creating the dress? So yes, the point was not to use AI. Yesterday, what happened in art station? On art station, you saw that it was a protest by artists because that's not a place for AI. I personally believe that AI should uh, separate or remove an uh, art station should separate or remove the category or uh, put a category for AI artwork if anyone is trying to be present but I, I'm not sure what's gonna happen but I hope everything happens for you. so yes that was the thing and yeah I am trying to create the details uh, for dress, I'm going to create some internal uh, lines and then separate them so that I can give separate materials for them. 
now it's time to get some fill. Uh, also, other practices that makes you better. As I said, do not stop playing games or watch videos, observe their new triple A, quadruple A level quality of work. A, only observing can uh, make you better, believe me. It happens. And the next point, very important, which is don't compare your work with other artists. Uh, by this, I mean uh, there is a point that you will think that oh my god, that guy is creating a better work than me. That will be the case always, even if you are in same level with the guy or uh, on a different level. But this will be the case. There will be someone who will be creating better artwork. You don't have to compare you can compare if you want to compare by yourself how was you yesterday how are you today don't compare that did you improve did you learn some, something extra and i'm sure you did so yeah stop comparing your artwork with other artists it is not good for your health you might look at art station and find that a lot of artists are creating very very good uh, artworks but few of them are not so like and you think yeah you feel comfortable about it but <laughs> you don't have to do that you don't have to even feel comfortable about it or feel guilty about uh, yourself by watching all those brilliant artworks because it's not something that you might want to feel guilty about and think that they are creating such an amazing job doing such an amazing job creating such good artworks and what I'm posting, I'm posting something silly or something um, that I don't think fit for the industry but no, you are wrong with that. you don't have to think like that you have to think that they were like you someday they have experience they have all those things which you have resources, experience, power, I don't know, everything. They have spent time in learning, also improving their skills as well. You can do that. You will be able to be better at them someday, near future, for sure. So I don't feel guilty about that. Feel proud that you have finished the work uh, successfully. Some people just don't even post just because they don't wanna post it uh, imperfectly if you search for perfection you might not be able to finish it either. yes focus on improving yourself daily by daily on a daily basis I'm sure you will get it I hope you understand this point because this is an inferiority complex which I think almost all of the artists in this world have that they compare their work with others uh, take, uh, take pride in your work uh, feel that you have created some genuine peace if you are not uh, running towards uh, running behind likes or shares you know, then yeah. or tools are with you have to understand what uh, you are doing and why you are doing you don't uh, create artwork to impress you should create to express yourself better the artwork should show what you want to do what you want it to do uh, yes so it's you your artwork is your reflection so do not know you are unique as so as well and the last and final point, very very important. Even all of them were important, but this is very important. Not just about the art, but important in general. Practice that makes you better. How do you do that? With this last point. Let's see. Stay happy and eat healthy. When you do not eat healthy, sometimes you can feel gloomy and die. So it's best to stay happy and personally while I'm not happy I don't feel like working at all. You understand? 
if you won't be able to uh, stay healthy, how you gonna perform well in terms of art of this kind of document? And happiness equal in proportion to to that. If you are sad, if you are gloomy, uh, you won't feel like working, or even if you work, it won't be your best. If you are happy, you are attentive, and when you are attentive, you are fast, and you grasp quickly. You create something that is uh, that can be. Uh, you know, uh, you can do that in one way, which was hard for you. If you are happy, if you are not happy or you don't feel like working, you stay tired because you ate something bad. So then that is a different case. You might not want to work your full when your full potential, which you should avoid. Obviously, everybody wants to uh, eat garbage sometimes, but uh, just sometimes. You know? and that means something. Yeah, most of the things I have covered, I just don't want to make it too lengthy just by talking. So, yes, happiness is the key. So, I have to end. I will see you in the next one where we'll be taking her again in ZBrush and putting all the details. So, till then, take care. Subscribe if you haven't. If you like my video, please uh, comment if you have something in mind. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.